Hey, I'm Blaine and I'm back and we're going to be talking about the Sabi unit, the air cart. And I've got Matt. And he's going to be helping us as we go through this. So uh, first thing I want to show you guys that you might need to know here is that our Sabi unit is generally run with two hour bottles, but you can see right here they've got an hour bottle and a 30 minute bottle, so they're interchangeable. If you run out of hour bottles on scene, 30 minute bottles work just fine. The Sabi unit is designed to give um, supplied air continuously to a rescuer through 100 foot sections of hose that we have on the squad, basically allowing um, no, uh, no lapse in air pressure to the rescuer throughout the entire incident. Uh, what we're going to show you is how to hook it up and then also how to change a bottle line. Um, first thing I'm going to do is we have a full hour bottle. I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. What you're going to notice is it has an inlet pressure here, 4,000, and your outlet pressure. Your outlet pressure is going to go to your rescuer. All these ports are the same, so we have two ports for our entry team and then two ports for a backup team. What that's doing now is that's supplying our rescuer through this hose and into his escape bottle so that he can make entry, uh, make patient contact, and then for as long as he needs to, he can uh, package that patient and then safely remove him. Uh, what we're going to show you though is uh, real quick what you would do if you had an issue with the bottle. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this bottle off. I'm going to bleed this all the way down taking the air completely out of the system. Okay, so just for um, the purposes of this drill, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on a low bottle. And you can hear this whistle making a noise. So that is our low pressure warning. Our low pressure warning goes off at 500 or less PSI. So if we hear this, or preferably before we get to this low air warning, what we're going to do is we're going to realize that we have a low bottle. Before turning this bottle off, we're going to turn a full bottle on. Our low pressure warning will go off. He is now breathing off of this bottle. We have 4,000 as an inlet pressure. What Matt can do now is he can turn his bottle off, bleed the pressure, and take this completely out of the system. We've supplied him with a new full air bottle. The empty bottle is removed. The new bottle is put into the system. Your rescuer is still breathing off this bottle. And what he's going to do is he's going to leave that bottle off. Okay, so that bottle stays off until the low pressure alarm goes off here or you get below 1,000 PSI and you're ready to change this bottle. Same procedure for changing either size. Um, finally, one thing to note is that uh, down here in this yellow area, we can use air tools off of this same cart. It has its own regulator and its own uh, adjustment here. Um, finally, the regulator for the uh, rescuer is set between 60 and 115 PSI. This is because as we add more hose to the system, it just becomes like a friction loss in a water hose where the more um, length we have, the more friction loss. Uh, so we'll have to give him a little bit more pressure so that it's not difficult to 